Good morning, good morning. It's another day that the Lord has blessed us. The Lord is great and he's, his understanding is unsearchable. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, his name is to be praised because he is worthy. Amen. My prayer is that you will find food for thought and encouragement in today's meditation. The scriptures coming from Judges 2, 11, 12, and 14. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and they served Balaam. They forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed down to them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of the spoilers that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could no longer stand before their enemies. My subject today is compromise can be dangerous. The children of Israel, stubborn and rebellious, they were not adhering to God's law that had been handed down to them. The phrase that ran through the last few chapters of Judges was, that every man did what was right in his own eyes. The people were falling away from Jehovah and worshiping the gods of the nations around about them. They forgot God had chosen them for a purpose to tell the world the truth that there is but one true God. God had birthed Israel and had delivered them from a horrible slavery in Egypt. He led them through the wilderness, giving them blessings on top of blessings. They were a favorite people. They were chosen by the almighty God as his special people or treasure. He led them, he fed them, and he protected them. He led them into the land of Canaan, which was their promised land. It was a land flowing with milk and honey. This was all given to them by the sovereign will of God. All they had to do was enter the land, destroy the people who were living there, and take up residence. That's not all he gave Israel. He gave them himself. And he gave them his commandments, a law to abide by. But number one, they denied the Lord. Two, they defiled the land. And three, they defied the law. As a result of this act of rebellion and refusal to obey, instead they compromised their obedience. My brothers and sisters, Israel is not alone in this experience. As we look around us today, we see like Israel of old, that we may be dangerously close to denying the Lord who formed us. How? We have defiled the land he gave us. We have defied the law. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. We find this in Exodus 20, the second through the 17 verse, as well as Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. 37. We are on a slippery slope of compromising, doing what we think is right in our own eyes. Whenever we abandon our mission to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth and adopt the ways and customs of the people living around us, we are in a free fall decline and compromise, which brings God's chastisement a judgment. Society has rewards to those who offer compromise. Their faith with wealth, acceptance, recognition, power, and influence. When God gives us a mission, it must not be polluted by our desire for approval. We must keep our eyes on Christ, who is our judge and our deliverer. We may live in the midst of a world full of sinful practices, but let us not become desensitized to it. Finally, I remind you that after all of Israel's failures during this dark time, God still sent them leaders to lead them and to speak to them. So be blessed today, be encouraged, and know that God loves you. Amen. And have a great day.